So today's little adventure is uh, going to be in the hills between Santa Rosa and Napa Valley between the towns of Calistoga and Healdsburg or Upper uh, Santa Rosa and we're going to follow the Mark West Road up and over and stop along the creeks that parallel it and uh, find public pullouts and go down into the creek and do some rock hunting. So uh, it's mountain terrain and there's lots of material that always gets eroded out. Plus, unfortunately, there's been fires in the area, but um, should be a lot of light down in there for this time of the year. So that's the strip. I can show you a more of a zoomed in view here. So I'm kind of doing a little series of these uh, spots to show you where you can just get right off the road and down to, to access. Um, these are all your, your public rivers if you're in California and you can come down to them. These are the best spots. It's undisputed land. So this is what I see upon arrival. Now something cool about this is that one mile that way is what's called the Petrified Forest of California where the Sonoma Blast Zone, meaning a bunch of ash and stuff in uh, pre-millennia, blew out this way and it buried a bunch of trees under the ground and they got preserved in the ash and turned fossilized. The quicker fossilization fossilization than time does and uh, so they have uncovered whole trees up there that were buried there completely fossilized whole and you can do a little walk through and they have a gift shop and there's amber and garnets and all kinds of crap and we're in the one creek that goes by it and you can see how steep the hillsides are here so this puppy should be loaded with an entire forest worth of petrified wood and everything else that comes with that type of geologic and mineral activity. So, let's go find some stuff. Well, now that's cool garbage. You hardly ever, uh, I guess it's still sealed up and it had its valve snapped off so it's useless. Bummer. Are you... Oh, it is. I was not joking. You guys? Petrified wood, do you see it? I'm shivering, it's so cold. Wear a coat. That is a piece of petrified wood. So that took me about 10 steps. And I've never heard of anyone. I was actually stooping down to look at this. Look how old that is. It's a piece of super cracked, super thick porcelain. And a shivery nate. Burr. But that... This was just a theory because, uh, you know, you have to pay up there to buy a little piece of uh, petrified wood. And I was thinking that these whole mountain ranges should be, it's about a five acre chunk that they have that they've dug out. A bunch of petrified trees and it's really cool. You should go there and check it out because they took a lot of work to do it. Um, but there's your quest for details. Come get some petrified wood. Squatting down to talk to you, and there's another piece of petrified wood. See the layers? There could be huge chunks here, people. You usually have to go out to Nevada. But that's what I want to talk to you about. You guys know what ruins a good time, right? I can't say the word, but it starts with A and ends with holes, and they always ruin a good time. So, I can feel it. I'm gonna find cool stuff when I'm trying to show it and give it to you. And all that I ask is, you guys use discretion, respect, moderation, all the things that we need to use to get along on the planet together, and, uh, you know, enjoy it, take some, keep some, 
love your environment try and pack out twice as much as you bring in you know walk with a light footprint and uh, love your details become part of it steward it that's all I ask Kind of walking on the high rock here, looking down in the water. But this thing goes for miles and miles and miles, and it has for eons and eons. So there's plenty of opportunity here. So far the pieces have been white, so I'm looking for tan and white. And everything else we might find. Don't let your eyes get stuck on one thing. Don't walk past the big old arrowhead or something or a, you know, a huge gemstone or something else when you're only looking for one thing. That's how it happens. Every time. This is really kind of fun. Oh no! I was just looking at the red rock. Wow, do you see the layers in there? Focus camera. There it is. There's outer bark. Inner stuff. There's the layers. See the rings? They go up. They're rounded. Oh, man. Okay, never mind. I'm not releasing this video. I'm hunting it for like six months and filling buckets up. I'll have truckloads. I'll build a house out of it. I'll sell it. No, oh, no, never mind. We'll just all go and get some and it'll be cool. Look at that. All different colors. Beautiful. Look at you. God. Look at that. Look at that. That is some smoky quartz. It's not just gray, you guys. That's like see-through. Translucent, beautiful. Oh. oh man, it is low light, it's a rainy day in the middle of the deep woods. Camera's even having a hard time figuring out what luster to be in. Look at these ferns. I'm not complaining, everything's standing on end. Every little blade of every type of moss is sticking straight out. But, uh,. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, crikey. Three things on this little muddy creek that I would have walked by. Hey, you guys know what that is? Yeah, in California, that's obsidian. So yeah, we'll keep our eyes out for everything. What I was saying, to continue a thought, first and foremost, finally and for once, including the obsidian, is that repeatedly so far, I have found things I wouldn't have thought have been here. Look at this. You see it? It's straight. It's the right color. You know, it's got grain to it, so you're looking for rocks that have grain. Um, as far as petrified wood at this site, you know, that's how I'm identifying it. Look at that. Sorry, out of focus. It's the light here today. We're gonna have to do a lot of manual close-ups. We'll do a clean-up in bright light, too. It's another piece of petrified wood. That's awesome. But, uh, let me finish the thought. There's too many things I'm finding. I've uh, found five things here that I didn't know would be here. That's exciting, is what I'm trying to say. And looking at it at first, it didn't look like a really bright color bed. There isn't a bunch of jades and chirts and blues and reds and rainbows popping out of it. I'm kind of like, eh, okay, but don't let that fool you. Don't let the smallness of it fool you. Don't let the amount of dirt compared to rock fool you because, man, I'm hooked now, you know? It's been all day long. I'm not moving far. And my eyeballs are wondering what everything is. Yeah. 
I guess what I'm trying to say is, wow, don't overlook the little muddy spots. Check your cross sections, keep trying to remind you that. It's a good way to look through eons of time, different layers than what you're on right now. And, uh, and yeah, things will just be sticking out of it. I mean, I've pulled whole cool things, arrowheads and everything else out of the dirt sticking out like that. So, keep your eyeballs out. This looks jemmy. Like a piece of chalcedony or white, uh, white agate. It's not really quartz, it's more blue and I don't know if you can see the layers in there. It's got those clear layers, like agate has I guess. Little wedge of it. And then right beyond that, do you see it? You can just tell, it's a flake of wood. That's ancient forest. That's ancient Sonoma forest. Right on. Right on. That's just so cool. I'm stoked. One of the reasons that you don't ruin a good time is so that you can come back and other people can come back. Um, I don't know if that gets said enough. I mean, it's good for the environment not to trash stuff when you're there. But you don't want to... You know, it's like signing your name every time and then doing something horrible. Eventually people are like, man, don't have that guy come back. And so if you're representing treasure hunters and rock hounders and metal detectorists and whatever field that you're doing and you're doing it in, um, if you're acting like a jerk when you're doing it, then eventually you're going to give people a good legitimate reason and a case against your whole kind, you know, no matter who you are and where you are and what you're doing. So, oh, God. God! Oh my God! I'm gonna try and wash this off and get that on there. This one's red. A little mixed on this. I don't know if we're talking like a striated, stripy jasper. Camera. Or uh, no, that's petrified wood. See the different sizes of the growth rings and stuff. God, so some of it's gone red. I believe that could be a layered rock. These are different. The layers are going this way and this one, so I'd have to find better light, first of all. We're keeping it. God, that's cool. No matter what, right? Looking like petrified wood. It's a little bit harder, but remember, as things fossilize, different minerals get in. They sit in different, different dirts and stuff that are going to take over their organic form and replace it with minerals, so they can be made out of anything. You can get gray sandstone, petrified snail in one spot, and then two foot away find one where quartz filled the whole thing, and it's petrified quartz snail. So, uh, so it's common to find them in, made out of different stones replacing the same sort of organic object. Does that make any sense? What it means is the ground here is covered with the rainbow colored thingies that are cool. Oh, just little pieces. You see that one? I literally stopped again and just made myself look. Maybe would have kept walking. It's like they gotta be everywhere. That's another little section there's its little layers the inside has a curve you know of uh, the circular grains of the tree it's obvious when it's in your hand Ooh! the bottom of this creek has uh, some sort of like mineralization that's coated a lot of it so you will run into that in the world Ooh. Tree mushrooms. Oh, okay. This is a great example. You can see this, right? Oh, the light's growing for you too right now. 
Okay. See the petrified wood. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. That's a souvenir. Come on. Specimen. Awesome. Awesome. Raised grain in it. California forest. Millions of years ago. They look like pieces of wood, you guys. That's so cool. Oh, they look like pieces of wood. No, that's really fun for me. Let's nail it to something. Look at the rings in there. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not always speechless. What I was going to say is, uh, there's got to be logs of it here hidden, and opal, and everything that comes with petrified wood. Keep your eyes out for fire opal and, and everything else. And let me know. Keep everybody posted, uh, you know, really every year. This is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet deep in gravel goes all the way back in the banks, it gets churned this is, and uh, everybody will still have some. Let me pull this piece out. But yeah, somewhere here, oh, look at that. There will be uh, opals, everything. Everything that comes with fossilized wood and bubbling mud pits and gemstones. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. What did I see over here? Oh, there's another piece of red and white. Now I'm wondering about this stuff. Now I'm wondering. Got the bucket down here. I got a glove for my hand. And I'm walking along looking in the water for white things that look like they have straight but remember then I'm missing a hundred other things right ah sorry people jumping away from the look at that look at that these are hard too these are not flaky like sandstone these are like hard jemmy chunks of uh, wood petrified wood see the curve Beautiful. This is a day I'm not going to forget. Um, not that I forget every day. But I love finding a whole new place. This is to me now becomes like Petrified Wood Creek on Petrified Forest Road. So that's cool. But you don't know how many times I go out and jump into a creek called, you know, Gold Nugget Creek or Quartz Crystal Creek and spend all day long and don't find any quartz crystals. So, um, yeah, super cool. Glad to share it with you guys. Have fun. Note on that self plug please subscribe. Uh, hit the little bell button so you get the notification on these videos. Um, every little, every little click helps the channel grow. Oh, look at that. Ah. Oh. So, yeah, I appreciate all the support. Every little bit helps. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it is white and gray and beautiful and smooth. It's like ivory. Look at just that. I mean, come on. 
<laughs> that would have fulfilled my entire creek hike right there any day. So, thank you. You see that? I think that's our biggest chunk and look where it is. So I either got a plunge in, dry shoes and all. Maybe I'll get a stick. Hang on. I'm gonna... Hang on! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so worth it. Oh my god, okay. Just drag the hands, grab the camera. Just squat down here. And I'll pause it. Look at that. Sorry about the truck noise in the background. They're trying to fix everything out here. But look at that. Look at it. That's... That's rock. But it's wood. Wow. What a piece of driftwood to find in a forest, right? What... What creatures walked past that when it was alive? Wow. What else is in this creek? Okay, I haven't even moved. I'm going to squat down the film and look at that. Look, you can see pith. Stuff inside a hardwood. That is cool. That is cool. That is cool. Let's skin around. Stuff distributes by. Look at that. You see it? Zoom you in. So look for the little ones too. That's like a splinter. A prehistoric splinter. Okay, here's our next splinter hunting. You guys, I'm not plundering this. This is one beach. The truck's parked there, I walk down. There's the water, I'm trapped on this little beach. There's 20 of them off in the distance. This is dry during the summer. Get out there and quest, even if you're not in California. Wherever you are in the world, it's that easy. I had no idea, I grabbed my camera, I was like, I will film for these people what is down in this creek. Look what I'm going home with. cool it's cool it's pretty it's crystally carnelian I don't know rock people let me know I think I've discovered a trait is that these rougher sandstones in this creek uh, let me pull one up okay see that was underground this is in the water so like white stuff on your tap, this is like black stuff from the mineral. And uh, it's getting coated right next to it. Look at this. It's not a bone, it's another splinter. And uh, no black stuff on it. Driftwood wind or petrified driftwood wind chimes. A lot of this looks like it got rounded a little bit. I don't know if it's before or after. I guess after, right? That was the entire beach that we were on there, and I have moved across. And saw this. Oh. Our 
are you? Let's rinse it off. There are layered stones out here. Meaning sedimentary. That one, see here's an example. This one has lines, but the lines aren't continuous. One goes this way and stops, and there's another one going that way and stops, and back and forth. And it's looking more like a, a stone that as the ash fell out here that fossilized all of this, it, it fell in layers daily. So you get tufa and harder rock, the consistency of these uh, petrified wood chunks. That's basically like a hard tufa. So I think that's what this is. Tufa's layered ash that's been compressed down is kind of like a super lightweight uh, sandstone but made out of volcanic ash. It's like white, generally tannish, ash colored. Oh my god. This is so... Okay. Look at that piece. God. This is so cool. Each one of these is such a little souvenir and a little custom piece of the land. That's weird, isn't it? What are you? You want to walk up there? Oh no, battery light's flashing at me. Yes, it's one ply. One curved layer of a bigger one. It's cool noise though, huh? Looking through the rocks, just kicking out white pieces that I can't even see what they are. You guys, my battery's flashing at me. What is... Ooh. Oh, I love these, the ones that have shape to them. That is awesome. Well, I guess it's time to get out my Anchor Recharging Battery Pack. And you can plug it in, stick it out of your backpack, and it runs your camera for you on the fly. <laughs> Wiggly grain. We love it. Those were different seasons of growth and sunshine collected some other time in this forest, some other place. Well, no, man, right here. But when this place was different, maybe it was exactly the same. down at yet another beach. Ooh. Still was inside of my truck. Can barely focus on what I'm doing. Man. Each one's so different. Tree splinters. So yeah, like, subscribe, share this. Uh, every little bit helps grow my reality I'm trying to grow here and uh, if you find something cool at one of these things don't be afraid to uh, to let the rest of us know you know go ahead and post it in the comments or whatever um, it thrills me completely to think of any one person going out and using any of this to have a good day so oh look at that man the more I say good stuff like that to you the more we find good stuff so I hope it works like that for you also, I hope for those viewers watching everywhere else, you know, um, that your luck is also good and that this helps inspire you to get you out there. That's what we're trying to do. I think most of us do in these things. And, uh, yeah. This is another piece that got it up with a stick. It is. This one is jemmy colored. That's what would be super cool. Not to press my luck, 
Look at the end grain on it. Beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm happy with that. But these do come with little layers of, of fire opal and stuff in them and amber and everything else. That's petrified sap. You see that? Cool stuff. the country and uh, all sorts of terrain desert forest is what I'm trying to say there was once forest everywhere on the planet everywhere where there's been a tree or a bush or anything organic that could have fallen into some mud or any dirt or been fossilized in any process uh, is out there so even under deserts and stuff there's petrified forests so uh, wherever you are um, keep your eyeballs out. What are you? I don't know. Question mark. Leave comments below. Actually, I jumped the creek because I got six foot long legs. So, ah, bonus. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, it's like a piece of oak. Look at the, the voids in the wood. The sap and stuff replaced with crystal. God, that's awesome. Fall leaves rotting away. Ugh. Get this filmed for you. Slow it down a little bit so you can share in the. Just walking along, these things are glowing white for me. Excited here for what are you? You are no. Yep. See the crazy wood layers in there. See them the continuous layers, and they come out to the end, and they cross over. Just a crazy broken up piece of wood. Cool. You. <laughs> Play. What are you? Ooh. Ooh. Yes. That's really cool.
Genau. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Brain farting. Zone. Look at the layers of it. It's like the base of a tree or a branch or a... But look at the colors. Oh man. Sorry, I'm realizing that half of these red huge stones that we've walked by could be them too. And wow again. Wow. And there's our cleanup for today. This is a uh, suspiciously shaped pretty rocks. We have our relics. We have our beautiful mineral specimen collection. Probably going to leave the old stuff because of course we're on public land. And got our shades of jade. I think those are pretty awesome. All the way down. And then we have our petrified wood off a of petrified wood road. Petrified forest road. These two, of course, are the behemoths of the day. Just awesome. Look at that. Oh. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Join me next time. Like if you like, share if you want to, subscribe if you will. I appreciate it.